Because I think, you know, looking back on my experience, I was a natural hanger. Like, one of those people who said it was more of a natural born hanger. I, gra- I gravitated towards it. And it wasn't that I was so naturally born. I think I just enjoyed it. Like, I liked it. I liked being out front. I liked being kind of, you know, especially when you're a little kid, you want to be the center of attention. You want to be out there leading the troops and doing that. But, but also go back to what was happening behind the scenes. Yeah. You know what I'm I mean? Have, we, yeah, I have a really, I have a really good family life and really good examples to, to look at. So again, it was developed. You right. can't. It wasn't natural. It was natural to your environment, but it wasn't yeah. natural to you. You developed that because you were placed in an environment that that enhanced you, and your parents leveraged the relationship to develop a leader within your child. So that when you went to the playground, you went to the playground knowing I am Kyle Krieger. I can do anything. And that belief in yourself that they put in you fosters that leadership that when you get into situations that you begin to lead. I mean, my first job, I was 14 years old when I started working at um, A&W, A&W Hot Dogs and More and the Potato Place. There were two... Two joined rest- restaurants. <laughs> joined restaurants in the mall. And this was my first $3.65 an hour. I remember that. Like, at at Green's Point? At Deerbrook Mall. Oh, at Deerbrook. Ironically, at Deerbrook. Deerbrook Mall in my community now uh, was my very first actual job, besides cutting yards and stuff like that. But actually working for Social Security State. <laughs> um, uh, and I remember that I started working there, and it was quickly determined that, oh, he has something about him. And it wasn't the fact that I was a great leader. I was great with people. So I had managers and assistant managers who worked with me on my people skills, which in turn made me a leader. So again, that development. They leveraged the relationship and said, hey, this guy has something. They built a relationship with me. We maintained that relationship. So when I left there and went over to the Great American Cookie Company, I then became... A, a, as, a, as a high school student, at that point I was in the ninth grade, ninth or tenth grade, I was one of the assistant managers, like the night manager that closed the store up. And so that's development. That's people saying, I want to invest in you to help you become what you are going to become. And without that investment, would I have gotten there? Probably. Would it have taken a lot longer? Probably. So I think it's, uh, again, the biggest part in looking at that leveraging relationships is that you have to first build it and maintain it. But what is, when you talked about environment, you know, I was in an environment where leadership could be taught. So where does environment fall into the building of relationships? And then, I mean, because obviously, you know, the environment in which we create, you know, makes a big difference in how we create relationships. Just so. the soil. That's the soil that right. nurtures the seed. And you can't, um, same with teachers, if you get the soil right in your classroom, if you get, you know, and I always joke because you know, my wife recently went to a, um, a, a, a PD and uh, visiting a coal mine. Mm-hmm. And they, we had to take our dirt from our, from our home and they checked all of the pH balances of the, of the dirt and everything to see where we are, whether or not our ground was good ground to plant and do things. And it was like, oh, you have low erosion. You have great soil. You need to be able to do this. You should be able to do that. You should be able to do that. So when your soil is right, you know, I, I laugh at a friend of mine who says, man, you know, you can literally go down to Hawaii and just drop seed down on the ground and it'll grow. Why? Because the soil is so rich from all the lava. So when you create in your classroom the environment to where you, all your levels are so on point with what you're setting in your classroom, you're so conscious and intentional about what you're doing. You're making sure you're keeping the right things in and taking the bad things out and making sure there's a good balance between everything. When you do that, you'll develop students. You will automatically go ahead and go and do that. But you can't do that before you first build those relationships. 